what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so what i wanted to do today before we get into the actual thing was mostly just check how many pen black star fails that i've had that has been tracked at least so anyway this is character one let's start off with what do we have when did we i know we started clicking these years ago when it came out but I don't know, like sometimes it just doesn't track like half the year. Okay, so starting, these are all pets. Oh my God, this is unlucky. Okay, so we'll count uh, fallen gods that are Tet and Pen Black Stars. So anyway, let's see. God, I remember that day, it was not pretty. Okay, so one, two, three, four, ten black star clicks so far. Five, six, seven. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. That's twelve on this character, by the way. That still I have not popped a stack on, it's cursed. Sometimes I just wonder how many fails I've had over the years. And I know it doesn't always calculate all of them because like half the year is kind of broken. But yeah, let's see. So we have 12 so far. I'm just me trying to hit a pen black star. And this stack is actually a little bit higher. It's at 210 and this is 207. So we have... Thirteen. May was not a good month. Fourteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. And that was today. So this is twenty-six recorded ones. Uh, I definitely have had more, but like sometimes it doesn't calculate other months. It's weird. So at least twenty-six fails on Pen Black Star. It's kind of depressing to think about, actually. At three, at three point six billion silver each times twenty six. Pull up the calculator real quick. Let's see how much that would have cost. That's ninety, almost ninety four billion. Yeah, that probably is ninety four billion silver lit on fire. That I could have just saved and made it myself. All right, anyway. That's depressing to think about, actually. <laughs> Why can't I be a Tuvala Timmy? Like those people on Reddit that just one tap their pen black star on like a 100 stack. Anyway, what we're going to be doing right now is I was cooking a little bit while I was making lunch and doing stuff. So maybe we can actually get 400 CP today. We're at 399. See if we can hit 400. That would be a huge, huge goal. And obviously the more CP is always better because I can think of a lot of things to do with it. But haven't really made much of a push in terms of CP recently until recently, I guess. Because... Every time I think about it, I'm just like, oh, I want to add a certain node or something, and I don't have enough CP. I'm just like, well, time to go cook stuff. And honestly, if you're doing it for the enhancing, or not enhancing, the CP exclusively, here's what I did. I literally just cooked grilled bird meat, because three of the four materials, the salt, uh, deep frying oil, and cooking wine, are the ones you could buy like, literally off the NPC. And the grilled bird meat, I just have so many nodes going on, plus you could buy them off the market. So, basically I have 800,000 grilled bird meat. That's uh, pretty much going to last me until I quit BDO. So, anyway. But yeah, I'll probably turn it into like Imperials and then start doing that more often. Because we definitely do not need 800,000 grilled bird meat ever. But I think if you're going for money, you definitely want to do higher-end meal cookings and whatnot, but 
I'm just going for byproducts and yeah, let's see. What in the world? Okay. Woo! 400 CP, let's go. You can collect your contribution points at any time you want. If you have 425 or more, the amount of contribution XP you get will dramatically decrease. I thought the way it worked was it was like every every 50 you get a new bracket of CP and then it gets harder to get every time. So for me, like from I think like 350 to 400 or 401 is like about 500 witches delicacy thingies. And I don't know, from 400 to like 450, which other people have. I think people said it is, uh, is it a little bit more? I'm not sure. But anyway, what are we going to do today? We are going to go down to the comma area and get some scrolls done because I've been letting them pile up and we should do that. Plus, a little bit later tonight, I should probably do my weekly uh, infinite potion hour somewhere. Probably at Renaro's again. Because I think I want to get another mini potion for any future seasons and whatnot. Like, I could just move my potions from one character to the other, but I think I want to get two separate ones. And it doesn't really even bother me that much. Like, if I don't have the main or the large health potion, that's fine. As long as I have, like, a mini one, that should be good enough. I think I'm okay. But you guys watched that video of me getting the second mana potion, and I never want to do that again. Following the auto path like a dummy. Shouldn't do that. Now did I really think about it though, what we just did like five minutes ago? When I realized how much silver I've just lit on fire off of black star clicks. It kind of makes me sad. <laughs> Over a hundred bill probably spent on it. But yeah, so I kind of want to make another video about the God Eye weapons that are coming out in the near future. Uh, basically, it's like a progression system for your pin black stars. So if you have a Tet, you can turn it into a God Eye one. And then it's like many steps of progression up until you get the pen black star which is the same stats but in theory they said it's like easier to enhance or you just have like extra stats along the way which i think is the equivalent of just capricing your current gear but the difference between a c20 boss weapon and a pen black star the stat difference is very minimal it's just that the black star is better for pve and uh, bosses slightly better, very slightly for PvP to the point where it's like not really noticeable. So realistically, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure in terms of cost and math that just capricing your gear up to 20 or something is significantly cheaper unless you one tap it. Don't be me. Okay, hold on. Let me... Oh god, I gotta do this. Griffin scroll. Has it been a week? Do we do another Darken scroll as well? But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the guide videos that I've been doing for newer players. I 
have been seeing that like more new players have been coming to the channel and asking me questions along with i guess new players just joining the game in general so hopefully some of these videos will help you guys out and if you have any questions definitely feel free to ask i'm happy to help people get started i know when i first started there were so many questions i had it's very confusing they made the game a little bit easier friendlier to beginners these days but i know it could still be confusing so that's why i want to do some videos and stuff okay griffin time this should probably wear or use some real fo food I really want to do that though. Not really. Maybe if we get a Griffin Helm from this, it'll be good. How much are the Griffin Helms? Under 240? Not bad. change with cluster of despair that they added this week it was such a good change i loved it was a forward guard. I think hop sideways and I still got CC'd. want to let you guys know whoever designed this boss not great that is a no something I should actually start saving memory fragments again I do want to, I, <laughs> I say this now, but it's probably going to be some weird thing later when I think about it. I want to enhance a black star 
and get another awakening weapon and just keep raw tapping that every time we get a tet that man that sounds like such a terrible idea Twenty six recorded pen fails. Wait, I've done it on other characters as well, more than those two. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, we're definitely over thirty. I knew that for sure. The only copium that we have is that they're gonna raise the price of pen black stars in the future, which is uh, definitely well needed because I think black stars are worth more than a hundred bill. However, people are speculating that pen black stars are gonna go up to 200. I don't think they're worth 200. However, I do think they are worth between like 130 to one, one. 60 i think that's that is a good range because you are paying for the extra monster damage and sometimes dr i guess depending on if you're doing offhand so some people literally just like grinding and it's if you're trying to min max it and you you only like grinding I, it's worth it for you also we're at 75 percent so if I do like one hour a day, I could probably get to 64 next month. I'm very, I'm a very casual grinder. Usually after an hour, I'm just like, hey, eh, I want to go do something else. Drops, let's go. Can we get a uh, Aragon shoes for like the first time? Wouldn't that be nice? No, we cannot. All right, let's go do this dark and scroll. I think they take like 10 minutes if you... Can you... Is it solo? Or or like, is it solo only? Or can you do it with a group? Let me go read the scroll afterwards. Party of five recommended. That answers that question. Does anyone ever want to do them? No. <laughs> So we are soloing it today again. But oh, that goes to Gyphon. Maybe one day I'll do a video on the underground Gryphon spot. I know I could grind there. It's just kind of scary. Even at my gear score, I have to be alert. Whereas if I just grind Oryx, I can watch TV, watch Netflix grind at the same time and still do fine but yeah Alrighty, let's do this. Horse buff on six minutes of our uh, elixir. 
Let's do it. Basically, if you don't know, or this is the first time you've seen me do this, um, you take 10 awakening scrolls that you get and then you combine it into one. Is the rewards worth it? Not so much the rewards, but you do save a little bit of time from doing them individually. So that's about it. The best thing I think I've ever gotten from this was probably a, um, what are those remnant in a rift? Also another thing, if you guys need a Merc for Node Wars, let me know, because I'm definitely, I'm looking into getting into Node Wars again more often. Um, I know DKs aren't really a meta class, but if you need someone for like non-siege, happy to join, just let me know on the NA server. Or you can just hit me up on Discord, that always works too. one down. I like the bosses where you can just face tank it and this one is not one of them. I know there's a core ability for the spirit blaze that adds a what was it forward guard on it? I kind of wish that spirit blaze had a protection by default forward guard would be nice. A lot of the things because that one is just a slow animation ability they even try to speed up the time but it's still not slow and not protected doesn't really do that much damage either Boss is just kind of tedious. It has fat stacks of health. Also, people have been asking me, is the mana potion worth going for on DK? And the answer is, depends where you grind. If you grind high-end spots, if you gave me like 400, whatever, potions, mana, whatever these are, extra large. If you gave me like 500 of them, that'd probably last me a good while. But getting the mana potion for other classes, definitely, probably good to have. I mean, if you play Awakening, you'll probably use them more than Succession, but ultimately, I think, just for every class across the board, uh, worth getting the infinite pots. Will you ever make the money back from all the hours you grind unless you first houred all three pieces? Probably not, but... One of those things where you never have to think about again once you're done.
hate how all of these have like back AoEs that knock you down. If you get hit from frontal like that, that should be a knockdown. Getting hit like on the side by an AoE, no. What happened to this music? It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna let that one come back to me in center. It ran right through that tree. Well, one whole bundle. I'll read to you what we get. 39 armor stones, 60 black stones, or, or 60 weapon, or let me start over. 39 weapon stones, 60 armor stones, 301 hunter seals, 17 gold bars, and 3.2 million gold. It took about seven minutes, I believe. And we didn't have to do 10 scrolls. Cool. Oh yeah, in the next update, they're gonna be enhancing Vel's heart. So buy yours now, cause they're gonna be adding some extra stats to like upgrade it. It's like, my understanding of how it's going to upgrade is you know how like you have an accessory right and then you can add one of those cup thingies and then add extra stats i think that's going to be similar to how it works for the vel i'm not sure what the materials are but yeah that's about it so with that said we are done here for today thanks so much for watching if you have any questions or anything uh just definitely hit me up whether it's on discord leave it in the comments as well or whatever and if you're new to your channel Hit that subscribe button, give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.